Good morning to you. Come one, come all. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new life for me. And I'm dressed like Wes Wally. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh, what am I doing? Doing a little dance for you. A little dance for you there. Good morning to you. Um, I have just refilmed this for two reasons. One, uh, a reason I will tell you about tomorrow. And two, I have the camera at this angle. I'm not sure about that angle. What do you think? Do you think that one? Or do you think that one? I think this one, maybe I should have just... I'm just putting you on various things. This is like, look, you're sat on my windowsill and there is a can of Coke. This is what I had you on. Shall I put you on this? Maybe. That's a happy medium, isn't it? That's nice. You are literally sat on a sprinkle of glitter. That's very apt, isn't it? If you've been here long enough, you'll know why sprinkle of glitter is apt. Um, yes, I really filmed it because of the camera angle and also um, something else which I can't talk about yet but I will tell you tomorrow and I would really like it if you would go, um, if you would follow my Instagram and check it tonight around 7 o'clock please. I won't say more than that on it because I can't but that's what I would really like you to do. Um, this week's video, as you can tell, is not our usual sort of video. Normally we have like a little followy, roundy, like mummy day kind of video, but I just haven't had one of those days this week to film. I've had four days of just laptop stuff, writing and editing. And if you like content that's literally just me sat here in my soft office, just, hang on a sec, just like that, just on my laptop, if you like that content, then that would you would have really liked that, <laughs> but I would imagine most of you don't. Um, and the one day that we were out and about, we were actually on a photo shoot. Oh yes, that's me. I was just on a cheeky little photo shoot, and um, I could well I could film it. I did film it, but I can't share that footage just yet. So that's been the week. But I really wanted to catch up with you because I've got a few things I want to talk about, a few things I want to ask you, a bit of feedback for you. Um, and I just like having our chats. I feel like I'm checking in with a friend and if I don't, I have this weird like missing, like I feel like I miss you. You know when you have a bit of a routine and you're used to like, like Judith comes over on a Tuesday, 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 but this Tuesday she didn't because we were doing something different, we were doing that shoot and then I miss Tuesday, Tuesday and if I didn't have this video I would miss our chats because all the comments I sit and read um, and try and respond to you as well. So I thought I would come and have a bit of a chat. I've made some notes, um, well, first thing I don't need my notes for, um, that you will have seen on Instagram that my grandma is not in, she's not in a great way. Um, she's 95 now, nearly 96, or maybe she already is 96, she's old. Um, and basically, we think that she's probably coming to the end of her life. And my dad, so it's my dad's mum, oh, I got lipstick on my teeth. No, um, my dad is the eternal optimist and he always thinks that everyone's going to be okay and then he rang me on Tuesday so after our shoot I was in the car on the phone to him, this is actually in the vlog, not the phone call but like you can see a marked difference from like happy happy, had a phone call, not happy. Um, she, he rang and said just let you know that you should go and see grandma this week um, and so we went, uh, Darcy, Pearl and I went and it was just... I don't know, it was so it was so lovely to see her and Grandad as well, but it was so sad because I knew I was saying goodbye and she knew I was saying goodbye as well and she gave me like a really long, strong hug at the end. I mean as strong as you can when you're that old and not very well. Um and we like said a few things to each other which were really special and really lovely. Um and Darcy understood, obviously Pearl didn't, but I think Darcy understood and I'm so glad like what a blessing it is because so often when people die you don't get a chance to say those things that you would want to say and I thought if she died now what would I be sad that I haven't said and there's nothing so in that sense I'm really at peace with it but God, it just got me to thinking about when something like that happens when you're faced with when you're faced with the bigger things of life like death you realize how small all the other things are so all the things i stress about like have uh, um, oh no i don't have a good video to make it doesn't matter just coming on and like 
and having a chat is what matters and when it all boils down to it all that matters in life is the hum human connections you have I always said humections <laughs> the human connections you have because all I wanted at the end with grandma and she's still going she might defy us all um was just to tell her a few things about how much I love her and some of our best memories and none of those memories were about um like places we'd gone or things that we had they weren't about material things they weren't about things she'd bought me or holidays or anything like that they were just about the love that we have um and I really want to take that and put it more into my own life and I would love you to as well um and just think you know like this video is not great but it doesn't matter because we're having a conversation as much as you can have a conversation between a camera and a screen um it's the connection that matters anyway that's really played a big part in my week and even though we knew that this time was going to come with grandma and with granddad as well it's still it's still like shocking is not the right word I'm shocked at how emotional I was because I'm quite a pragmatic person who am I kidding I'm not I'm very emotional but with things like that I'm a bit like well these things happen I think because mum died and I'm, I grew up with death that I'm like well this is gonna I know it's gonna happen she's old but yeah it's really shaken me this week and I wanted to share it with you because I don't know some people might think why are you sharing this but I think just because we share everything and I suppose selfishly these videos are also a digital scrapbook for me to look back on in years to come and very cathartic. I mean basically you're, you guys are my therapist <laughs> and you write lovely comments and honestly some of the best advice I've ever had in my life has come from the comments on my own videos so thank you very much for always being so lovely and I've had so many, I'm just checking my list, I've had so many lovely, um, so many lovely comments. Um, on Instagram about my grandma so I appreciate that and I know that so many of you will have gone through or are going through the same thing because that is just the nature of life um right moving on very like taking quite a segue style update guys um I've written in my personal circles I feel so glam so day to day I feel pretty glamorous I'm like oh hi I'm wearing red lipstick got my star sparkly star earrings I always make an effort, I always wear like, I think nice clothes and I always feel like I've made an effort with my face um, and I was feeling pretty stylish and then, so so in like real life, like at home with my friends and family and school mums and you know, my cousins and all that sort of stuff, I think, mm, pretty, pretty stylish, I wouldn't say style icon, would I? Maybe I would, I don't know, um, but the more, so this last year, as you know, I've been pushing forward into tra traditional media, aka showbiz. Now, in showbiz worlds, I don't think I'm very stylish. I think, I feel like I never quite get it right. Like I went to the NTAs and I really liked the dress I wore, but then I saw everybody else's had like wow dresses. And I'm just still living my best life in maxi dresses and kind of sneaky flat shoes because I don't want to wear heels at things. And I'm still just sort of, bumbling along a bit so I thought oh, I need to have a bit of a style update but I don't know where to start help <laughs> can you help me uh I ordered some a few things from Simply B including this top and the jeans and I ordered this like pencil skirt shall I just go and get it hold please I'm gonna go and get it I ordered this like pencil skirt thing that goes under a pencil skirt here we go well what a laugh I had putting this on this morning guys so I, so I never wear pencil skirts because I'm quite big here and I've got like like chunky, basically I'm just very lumpy and bumpy. So I ordered this. Look at this. It's like a suck you in pencil skirt thing. Am I going to put it on over my jeans? I think I am. And I thought that this would be the answer to all my prayers. So I thought I'll put this on and then I could start wearing. <laughs> Not wearing other things over the top of it. But I tell you what, guys. <laughs> I tell you what. This. This is worse than putting tights on. Okay. Here she goes. Here she goes. So I put this on and thought this is going to make me look really good. It looks the same. It's the same. This is. Uh, what can I do to suck. To get everything looking smooth and sucked in? Is it just nothing? Is it just this is my body? So I should just accept it. Um, so I bought this. 
And I also bought, let me get the other thing I bought for you. You'll, you'll, have, you'll enjoy this, you'll have a good laugh at this. Where are we? I bought two things, two more things. So I also bought, whoo, she's looking great. Oh, I really hope all my ex-boyfriends are watching this video. Um, I also bought this because I thought this was a top that I could tuck into jeans. <laughs> See what I mean about I've been trying to be a bit more stylish but I've not really worked. So I bought this and I tucked it in this morning and I just thought, oh my god, I need to go back to my floral midi dresses. So I think I've gone too far with with this little ensemble. I mean if this isn't the thumbnail, I don't know what it is. Yeah, so I'm not sure uh where to go style-wise. What do you think would look nice on me? Um I also bought this because I thought, I want to wear jeans with tops tucked in um, because that's what, like, that's stylish. And I never tuck my top, hang on a second. Ugh. It's like, <laughs> it's like a, a fly being born out of its maggot case, isn't it? Ugh. Okay, woo, I'm free. Um, yeah, I never tuck tops in because of this bit that I don't like. I just don't know what to do about this or should I just embrace it, I don't know. So I always have my tops loosey goosey. So I bought this top thing. It's called a, I don't know, but it's called like, a, I think it's called a waist cincher. And I was like, yeah, this is gonna look really good. I can't tell you how hard it was to get on. It took me a long old time to get this on whilst I was on the phone, oh, FaceTime to my friend Charlotte. <sighs> right. Imagine this, but done up all the way, and then I can put it down, and then I can smooth myself in, and then it's just so uncomfortable. I was like, oh God, what's the point? I can't live my life wearing, I can't, I can't. So basically, my big style update didn't really go very well. So if you've got any suggestions, what, I think pencil skirts probably aren't for me, but I just thought, you know, curvy pencil skirts. What would you like to see me in or what, what not would you like to but what do you think would look nice because i feel like i'm in a style rut of just floral maxi dresses have you ever seen me anything that's not a floral maxi dress no i have i just like i came out of the womb in a floral maxi dress thank you for all your feedback last week um you talked about when people ask you to like and subscribe things because if you didn't watch i basically said i'm supposed to be asking you to like and subscribe but does that turn you off because we all know how YouTube works and you've been asked like a thousand times to like and subscribe. The general consensus was people didn't really mind hearing it, but it didn't make them take action. So um, I'm, I'm not going to just say like and subscribe. I'm going to say if you would like to like this video, that would be great. If you don't, if you don't like the video, that's fine. And if you just don't want to click buttons, that's fine. I, I completely understood what you mean because there are some channels that are really aggressive about like smashing the like button and sub turbo subscribe rah, 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 rah. And it's all a bit much and you're just like hey just just want to binge watch some videos whilst i'm like tidying up you know uh so i get it so thank you so much for all of your comments on that i appreciated them and it's interesting to know um it's interesting to hear from you on like the mechanics of watching videos not just as uh blah, blah, blah. normally i hear from you as a viewer of my content but it's interesting to hear from you as viewers of content in general in general um so that was good i'm working on lots of things at the moment to evolve the brand which i know sounds a bit uh, swanky without the s I'm trying not to swear on camera um i know it does sound that way but i've been doing this 10 years now it'll be 11 years in september um and if you as Maddie once said to me, evolve or die. <laughs> and also, um, I've just got lots of ideas for things that I think that if you continue doing the same thing forever, it gets a bit boring. So um, there's lots of things coming up this year. I've put this on my list to talk about, but now I'm thinking I'm sounding a bit like waffly, so perhaps I won't talk about those. By things coming out though, I mean things that I can offer you. I call them products. So for example, like my shareables on Instagram, I think of them as a product because it's a thing you can have. A product doesn't necessarily mean something that you have to buy. At the moment, the only thing that you can buy from me are books. Is there anything else? I think just books. I don't have any merch. I've never had like hoodies and, and hats and things. 
Um, I would really like to start doing maybe some quotes like prints. Um, really arty, beautiful prints. Um, I also want to start um, thinking about ebooks and e courses for social media. Um, I'd had a thought about doing some cheat sheets and all those sorts of things. Um, so, those are some thoughts I'm having that I've decided that today is the day, unceremoniously, I'm going to share with you after you've seen me wriggle into some sort of tight fabric thigh contraption. Okay, my last point on my list of things I just wanted to catch you up on was you might have noticed, or maybe you haven't, that there haven't been any ads for ages. Ads are a bit like buses, suddenly there's none, then, uh, uh, so what's the phrase? Like buses, there's none and then suddenly there's loads. So we'll write that phrase for me below so I can get that right next time. Um, we have got lots coming up and I'm so excited for some of those brands. I'm excited for all of them, but there's some of them that I'm just like, yes, what a great brand to be working with. So keep your eyes peeled for those on here and on Instagram. Um, yeah, that's my chat really. I'm sorry that I don't have anything groundbreaking to say. It's just been one of those weeks where I've just been sat on my laptop, um, Grandma as well has been taking up a lot of my headspace, which I think is very reasonable and okay for her to be there. Um, I've got lots of things coming, so it's just a time of like a quiet time and then things are happening. In a couple of weeks, I've got a week where I'm in London five days in a row, all for crazy exciting things. One of them is a premiere. One of them is meeting someone that you will know that I will be beside myself <laughs> to meet this person. The next two are a job where I am presenting something, being like a presenter, um, for uh, in connection with something that you know I love. And then the last thing, on the fifth day, is basically a dream come true, a dream job. that I know that you'll be on that journey with me and you'll be like, yes. I, we know what this means so um, I'm kind of gearing up for that but next week is another week of writing and editing so we'll see where we are. I hope that you don't mind that we've just had a bit of a catch up video. Um, I thought better this than nothing eh? Better than nothing. You know you're, you can hear the kids outside, you know you're really scraping the content barrel when you're literally saying better than nothing. I might actually call the video that, I might call this video better than nothing. Alright, if you watch this video all the way to the end, do let me know in the comments. Um, a code word could be, um, I don't know, code word, just write the word code word, or if you don't want to write that, write whatever, and if you don't want to leave a comment, that's also okay. I don't want to be that person that's making you like, subscribe and comment, just do what makes you most happy. I'm just grateful that you took the time to watch this video. Okay, that's enough from me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week with another fantastic video. Bye! <laughs>